Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. We're going to pull a couple oracle messages for you first to see what the current energy. Oh, you have some spiritual gifts. All right, I just got Taurus energy from this for some reason. Spiritual gifts, okay? So Archangel Raziel, so you're, you're, you might be just now tapping into the gifts that you have here. Spirit wants you to channel those gifts in practice, okay? You have some get, gift or talent that you need to be sharing with the world, okay? So some of you guys have healing hands, healing, healing power in your hands. Like maybe this is for someone who does Reiki or is thinking about practicing Reiki or you're a massage therapist or you, you're a nurse or you care for people some type of way. Whatever you do with your hands is very healing, okay? So keep up that work. I love it. Some of you guys are musicians too. That music that you make is very healing to people or it could be healing to you continue to do it push forward okay what else do we have for the collective here yeah you have the healing power in your hands and in your mind okay look at this express your, express your creativity all right so spirit is literally saying be open and look at this inner power you have this power within you to do this okay or to push forward whatever this thing is that you're creative you know, I mean, you have the power to create things with your with your mind. Okay, if you have a, an idea in your in your in your brain that you need to get it out, write it out. Um, practice more. I mean, it's something here definitely having to do with either your crown chakra or your third eye and, and your hands. Okay, spirit is trying to give that give that to you. Um, or they want you to practice it a little bit more. What else is for the collective? What else does the collective need to know for the spirit? Okay. So it looks like you guys are coming out of a period of solitude. I could be talking to a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. Yeah, you're, listen, you have some blessing gift or something that's coming your way. This could be abundance. This could be anything. This could be a blessing in love. This could be a blessing in your, your gifts that I said that you have the power to create. Maybe you guys are like creating something with your hands or whatever it is. It's, it's good. But I feel like you've been staying to yourself a lot lately here and I, either a, you're coming out of hermit mode and being in solitude, or you have been like a little bit withdrawn. You you don't you haven't been feeling like yourself here lately. Okay, so come out of solitude if you're not already coming out of solitude. Okay, because this solitude came out in reverse. Contentment also came out in reverse too, and contentment is about feeling happy, being feeling satisfied. So it's like you're not satisfied with whatever this is. The spirit is saying, listen practice or or practice your gifts or you have the inner power here okay to create all right spirit thank you so much for those messages please show me what's going on in love for the collective please what's going on in love for the collective mm. so somebody's got their facebook status on it's complicated you're in a situation and it's complicated and it's, it's looking like there's a bit of a headache, like five of swords energy a little bit, okay? There are a lot of factors that are affecting the relationship or the connection that you have with whoever this is. It's like they're making it difficult, okay? Maybe this person is this person's friends, this person's family, co-workers, whoever this is. There are some external forces. Could be a third, part, third party. I don't really see that yet. But whatever it is, it's like it's complicated. There is somebody in the background frustrated. Hmm. It's like you want to you want to have a uh, you want the relationship to grow. So like say like if you're just like casually dating with this person, you don't have a label, you don't have a title. You want to push things further to the next level you're wondering why this isn't like moving to the next level or this if this isn't you this is your person feeling like that all right yeah see 
this for some of y'all this could be somebody that you work with okay it's almost like you feel like a lack of teamwork here but you need to re remember whatever you're lacking this person can make up for that okay this person's a teammate or if this person is not a teammate you feel like they work against you they're not a team player they're selfish okay the mm -hmm. teamwork came out in reverse show me more here for this connection so uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy Gemini Libra Aquarius energy okay so remember I said there's like a third party or some, something else going on here there is something else going on there's another third party there's a third party here um, for some of y'all somebody could still be emotionally attached to somebody else now for others of you whoever this person is you feel like the two of you how can I explain this y'all you feel like you can have a really good conversation with this person you feel like this person stimulates your mind right not just emotions or feelings but you feel like this person literally like is maybe this person is very smart and you're impressed with that you feel a strong like intellectual bond with this person like you have very interesting conversations you learn a lot from this person somebody's learning a lot if this isn't you this is how your person feels about you but you know what your partner just is not emotionally expressing to you how they really feel about you you feel like or they're not as open as you really would like for them to be or you may not have actually come out and said hey I like you or they may not have come out and said hey I really like you Ooh, twin flame some of you guys could believe you're dealing with a twin flame here wasn't expecting that so if, if you don't believe this person is your twin flame then you have a twin flame coming in you know I feel like right now if this is your twin there are a lot of external challenges between the two of you you know mm. so somebody here in this connection is very dominant they have a very dominant attitude or like maybe they're controlling here make sure you don't allow this person to have too much control you know speak up for yourself make sure you let them know what's comfortable for you some of you all this is a long distance relationship for somebody this person lives far away and the two of you talk on the phone quite a bit or you FaceTime each other and that it could be like also another issue that is like you know a challenge between the two of you you know it's tough to, it's tough to really like keep the passion and the you know the flame burning here you know you're trying to stay positive you know you're trying to stay positive here but it's 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 been a trans transition I feel like you know this love has definitely changed you guys in some way you feel changed like and which makes sense because if this is a twin flame that you you're, you believe that you're dealing with then that connection a twin flame connection is sent here to like send you for you to heal and grow and learn like that's what that energy is it's a very transformative relationship you may not end up with your twin but being with your twin is supposed to teach you certain lessons in life which will and you know as a result get you ready for your really true love your next true love okay so oh what is going on here There's an energy of somebody here just playing games. I don't know if you feel like this person is a player or they're playing games or they only want one thing or they're not opening up emotionally, but it could be about only just the physical here. Mm. Maybe this is you growing out of that bond. Maybe you're growing out of that bond with this person. Yeah, you're moving on. Okay. Um there's there there's an energy of like 
Yes, this connection is deep and, and intense, okay? Um, it's definitely there's some possessive behavior here with somebody. Possessive or controlling or like codependent behavior here. There are some things that have triggered some things in you or vice versa in your person. Um, and this person acts out of character. It's like this toxic trait where this person acts out of character here. Somehow, some way, you know better than I do, but... There is going to be a new love coming in for you, by the way. Okay. If you decide to move on and away from this, there is a new connection coming in. Six of Swords energy. You may not see this. Okay. But some This person's having dreams about you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for showing me what my triggers are so that I can overcome them. Like I said, yeah, you you are feeling very triggered. Um, can y'all see that? Very triggered. Or this person is in your in your transforming. I know it might be rough, but it was meant to. Seeing you in my dreams. So somebody's definitely seeing you in their dreams, or you could be dreaming about them. Definitely a strong attachment here. So you okay? The, the the external challenges are somebody's friends. You know, the time isn't right because this person is allowing their friends to influence their behavior or their decisions when it comes to this connection, which to me is like, grow up. Bro, please grow up, y'all. Grow the fuck up. Like, we're this time out for people allowing their they need, you need to be able to make your own decisions and this person definitely knows that nobody compares to you and you're different they know that but they're allowing their friends to influence to influence yeah see arrogant arrogant they know they know that nobody compares to you but they're still being arrogant and they're not being a team player because they're either listening to their friends or they still have this toxic trait that they need to heal you know yep there's a lot of lessons attached to this situation that i think the two of you will learn now whether or not your person decides to learn them and and change is up to them you know i think that you are at your breaking point right now and this is too much there are too many things going on you know you're feeling really overwhelmed with the situation right now and you're at a breaking point and you're really like okay when do i make my decision now i'm gonna let this go and it looks like you really are gonna trying to do that yeah look, look at this new love like i said it's coming your way where's that other card for new love I'm, i keep seeing that where is it yeah, a new love interest will be easy to get to know, smooth and steady. So like this old this person is was not it's it's comp was complicated because they're so arrogant and they're gonna get their karma too. By the way, they're gonna get their karma, okay, for leaving you feeling confused, wanting their way, okay. This person could have been focused all on one thing, maybe money or friends or listening to what other people say. You know, they kept you in some form of confusion very arrogant person but you are learning some form of lesson right you're like i'm ready to drop this burden i'm at my breaking point then we have smooth sailing you finally getting some peace and some clarity on the situation and then new love's coming in for you show me how this person feels about the collective Seven of Pentacles. So they, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, they do um, want to invest time and effort and energy into it, but it's like they're waiting to do that. They're waiting to do that. The High Priestess in reverse. Mm. Interesting. Could be dealing with the Pisces. So some secrets coming out. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be some communication, something coming towards you. There's either some action or some communication or a conversation that's gonna something's gonna happen where some there's gonna be a conversation or something whatever was hidden is gonna come out or this person could just be this could be the conversation where this person is finally being honest with you or you say hey I want to talk we need to talk this out like are you gonna put in some more time effort and energy into this because I feel like you are not I feel like you are doing other things high priestess um, it may come out that this person is being a team player or 
Tie the third point. Yeah, you're going to move forward. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. Karma. This person is going to be, remember, getting bad karma. You're going to be getting good karma. Good karma is coming towards you. You could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Yeah. Oof. I just found a Five of Swords in the Death card. Yeah, Three of Swords. Libra Energy. How does the collective feel about this situation? They're heartbroken that you're moving on and getting your good karma, by the way. You feel like, I want to focus on my family, I want to focus on my legacy, I want to focus on my money and my finances, but I also want to focus on having a long-term, stable commitment with someone who ultimately wants this Ten of Pentacles, which is a happy family, longevity, loyalty, page of cups, you, new love. New love. You do feel like they owe you an apology here for sure, Page of Cups. But you have new love coming in. How do you feel? How does the collector feel about this person? Six of Wands. How does the collector? You feel like they are arrogant. How does the collector feel? You feel like they're arrogant and they don't think, they don't take you seriously when you say, I'm going to move on. So they don't think you will move on from them. Yeah, Seven of Swords, you feel like this person's arrogant and they, they're lying. Look at that, Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands with the tower in the bottom of the deck. You could find out some shocking information. Scorpio energy here, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, what is the collective doing? What should the collective do here in this situation? What should the collective do? The Magician. Okay, you could be a Gemini. This is what you should do. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. Okay, more Gemini energy. You could be an air sign. You don't have to be. But Spirit is saying what you should do is is definitely set some, some healthy boundaries with this person. Speak your truth. Don't allow them to BS you and bullshit you. Okay, set healthy boundaries. Do what you have to do so you can manifest what your heart desires, which is which is this ten of pentacles with somebody show me more what what yeah what should the collector do what's the advice for the collector what should they do uh oh hold on I'm drop the card oh the nine of swords spirit is saying you should get more sleep and stop worrying come out of this anxiety think about what the anxiety is telling you do you want to stay confused with this person that that's, the, the, that's what this person is keeping you in this energy you know page of swords <sighs> I feel like you're looking something up here oh look at this you're soul searching so you are in permanent mode and healing so Work on yourself, self-mastery here. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the day. Continue to work on you. Work on the things that came up for you that triggered you. So this is why you were, maybe this is you were in hermit mode and not you're coming out of this hermit mode because now you're in this healing energy. Aquarius energy, Virgo energy. But I do think you're going to be looking something up here. You could be a divine masculine or water sign. You don't have to be. King of Cups with the Page of Swords. Is somebody looking for love? This is this is I think this is also you being curious, <clears throat> looking up information about this person. Okay. But anyway, that's your reading. Um, I love you guys. Hit the like button if you need a personal that information is below in the description box, okay? Bye.